Hey guys, welcome back. So I just realised that I've never done a favourites video. So I think it's about time I did. I'm probably not going to do these every month, maybe every couple of months because I don't think I always have favourites every month. Like usually when I like a product, I will keep using it, using it, using it until I overuse the shit out of it and then I hate it. So yeah, that's why I'm not going to do favourites every month. But you know, if you like this video, then you know... We'll go from there and maybe, as I said, do them every two, three months. I have like some different stuff. I have like, it's like makeup. I have some tan stuff because I get a lot of questions about my tan. And I have just some other things. So, um, it's a bit of a mixture, but let's just get right into the first product. Which is this IT Cosmetics CC Cream. It's like full coverage foundation. It is amazing. This is what it looks like. Okay, this is amazing. I did recently use it in my cruelty free makeup tutorial So I'll link it below so you can check it out and see it in action Um, I was really surprised because usually when you see CC cream or BB cream you just think I do anyway I just think that's going to be quite light coverage and um, but this is like full coverage. It's pretty amazing Um, it's like kind of like a satin finish and um, my skin is dry and I've used it and it feels great It doesn't dry my skin out and it also has an SPF of 50 which is serious because usually foundations don't go up that high but yeah so that's my first favorite that i've been using lately so next up i have the just peachy mattes so this is from the peaches and cream collection with Too faced these are the colors like they're just perfect and um, they blend amazingly i have a tutorial on my channel using the full peaches and cream collection and I used this on the video too so be sure to check it out um, so yeah basically all the colours in this are all matte I am living for this palette and another one of my favourites from the same collection is the peach blur so it's a translucent finishing powder and basically it just like smooths out any imperfections in the skin if you have some texture it just kind of help like glides everything over and smooths it like it's like basically as I describe it, it's like a filter Um, it's like a filter so when you put this on I just put like a light layer over when I finished all my makeup and it just like as I said smooths everything out makes everything look nice and smooth who the fuck doesn't want smooth skin because I sure do this is what it looks like though which can kind of throw people off because the first time I saw it I was kind of like that's peach um, so it does look like this, like, but when you put it on, like there is no colour, there is no colour in it like when it's on your skin. It just looks that way, so don't be shocked if you order it online and then you see it and you're like, what the f*** is this? Um, it's not peach, because the first time I saw it I thought it was a blush, um, but it's not. Like, And I've put it all over, I have it all over today, and as you can see, like I'm not peach. So we're going to move on to two of my favourite highlights that I've been using lately. The first one is... This has changed my life. This is Rodeo Drive from Ofra. This is the colour. This is what it looks like. Let me take the lid off. So this is a brand new one. Um, this is my old grubby one. As you can see, not cute. So I just took the new one out of the box so I could show it to you. Um, so you could see it in all its glory. So yeah, I'm obsessed with this highlight. I literally put it all over my body. I always put it on my shoulders, like along my chest. If I'm like have my legs out, I'll put it on my legs. Like I'll put that shit everywhere. It looks amazing in pictures. Um, it's just definitely like one of my favorite highlights. I've literally worn it every day since I got it. Um, that's why it's like all grubby and old. But I just recently got a nice new fresh one, which makes my heart happy. And just sticking on the highlight favourites, um, I have another one, it's from Too Faced and it's called Blinded by the Light, so it's in one of these little heart packages. So this is what it looks like and I'm going to swatch this as well. This one I need like a few more layers of this one than I do with the Ofra, like with the Ofra one, like one swipe is enough. I usually do about three because yeah. But one swipe is usually enough and with this one you need a couple just to kind of give you if you like a strong highlight You need like it maybe like two or three layers of this one to give you that like full-on By the way, I have the Ofra Rodeo Drive on me today, so you can like see how strong that is I know I know 
So keeping on the nice dewiness of the skin, I have the Tatcha Luminous Spray. I bought one of these a few months ago and I was obsessed, obsessed with it. It just really, I have it on today actually, just to kind of make my highlight pop even more. Um, I usually squirt about like four or five squirts. I think you're only supposed to squirt like two, but I don't do that. I squirt like literally about six. So I'll do like this side, this side, and then like one or two down the center. But I mainly focus like on the outer part of my skin here because that's kind of where I want like all this dewiness to show. You don't necessarily want that much dewiness here. So that's why I usually tend to focus on the outer sides of my face with this. Um, it is a bit on the pricey side, but definitely, in my opinion, definitely worth it. I was lucky enough that Tatcha actually sent me this one. Um, but before that, I used to always buy it anyway and will continue to buy it because I am obsessed and I love it. So if you love dewy, dewy skin, definitely try this out. Even go into Sephora and squirt it on your face and see what you think and wear it um, before you decide to buy it because they always have testers. So definitely do that if you want to try it out first. So I've had these Tarte lipsticks like for months. I got the whole, Tarte actually sent me the whole Rainforest of the Sea lipstick collection. And honestly, I picked out like one lipstick from it and just kind of left it. And I honestly forgot about the others because I had put a lot of stuff into my storage unit because I was tidying and making space and that went in there. So I forgot about it. But then recently I looked through it and I found this color, which I have on right now. It's called Beach Babe. And oh my God, it's such a pretty color. So it's that really soft pink. I'm gonna swatch it on my hand. So it's just that really soft, neutral pink shade. I have a little bit of gloss on top, but it is quite shiny. Yeah, it's like a cream sheen from MAC, that kind of texture, that finish. Um, really hydrating on the lips, your lips are not gonna dry out. But I was just obsessed with this color. This is an easy color to put on. It's just such a good, like, neutral, natural color. Um, but it still gives you some color to your lips. So it's not like a nude nude where it kind of wipes everything out. It's just that really soft, pinky lip color. Um, so just for those natural days or if you wanted to go for a big smoky eye and you wanted to go for a softer lip, like this is perfect. Um, or even if you just wanted like a real soft, neutral, quick and easy face, I would go for like a lip like this. And last but not least on the makeup, I have been using these a lot. If you watch my tutorials, you're going to know that I use these all the time. They're the Marc Jacobs um, eye pencils. So the colours that I mainly use are the two browns and the black. So the black is called Blacker, the brown is called Earthquake and Brownie. They are... I think they're water resistant, they're waterproof. Anyway, they're long wearing, so when you put them in the inside of your eye, they stay on, they don't fade off. You know with the more waxy pencils, when you put it on, like after a few hours, it's like basically gone. And um, this stays on. So once you put it into your waterline, it's on for good. Also, I have very sensitive eyes, so a lot of eye pencils that I use, when I use them in the waterline, my eyes will just start to flood water, flood, flood, flood. So there is only certain brands that I can use in my eye and it doesn't irritate it and this is one. If you have really sensitive, sensitive eyes that when you put stuff in your eye and it just starts to water, definitely try these out because I've never ever had a problem with these. Now I am just gonna move on to tan. I'm not really that tan today because it's kind of mostly coming off. I need to have a bath tonight and scrub it and do fresh tan. But basically the tan I use is the Loving Tan. Um, I use the two hour express one but I leave it on for longer than two hours. I usually either put it on in the morning and leave it on all day long and then wash it off just before I go to bed. Or sometimes I put it on in the evening time and not wash it off until like the middle of the next day. So I give it like a good 12 hours, sometimes even longer with it on. And I always find that the second day of my tan is the nicest. So if I have an event, say on a Friday, I'll tan on the Wednesday. Because Thursday it's still kind of developing and getting there and then you can moisturize and get your skin all nice and soft again. Because tan does dry your skin out a little bit so you always want to keep it moisturized. Um, so yeah, usually what I'll do is I'll do my tan on the Wednesday and then Thursday when I wash it off I'll like put loads of moisturizer on. And then come the Friday, then my tan is just like just exactly the way I want it. Um, the shade I use is dark. There is a medium and there is an ultra dark. I have never tried either. Um, medium to me usually is never enough because I'm very, very, very pale. So that's why I'll always go for the dark one because it just gets me to that point of tanness that I like. 
So yeah, this is the one that I always, 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 always use and absolutely love, 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 loving tan, favourite, favourite. Another thing I have been loving lately is the Vita Liberata Body Blur. So this is basically when you put it on. Sometimes I'll put it on if I have no tan on and I just want a little glow if I'm going somewhere. Or if my tan is not looking the greatest and I want to kind of smooth everything out and make everything just nice and smooth. I will put this on top. Um, so this is the bottle that it comes in. Colour this is 001 Latte. I'm not sure how many shades they come in. I'll link everything below anyway. Okay, for taking tan off, which is the bane of my life. It's literally the bane of my existence, scrubbing fucking tan off. I hate it. But, you know, it has to be done. I'll do my tan once a week. So when it comes to like the fifth or sixth day, seventh day, you know, it's, it's starting It's starting to kind of wear off, like in around your... um. Like your elbows, like your elbows go weird, like in here kind of goes weird, around this area. They just kind of go weird because like there's different places on your body where your tan will grab more. And there's other parts of your body where your tan washes off quicker than others. So you're left with like patchy tan, which is gross. So what I use is this Bondi Sands Self Tan Eraser. So what I do with this is like shake the bottle and it comes out like a mousse. So what I will do is give my, I will put it all over my body, not on my face, just like neck down, um, like a good thick layer of it on. I usually leave it for like half an hour, so you know, just like float around your apartment naked because whatever. So it does say on this to leave it on for at least five minutes. I, as I said, leave it on for like half an hour just to kind of get in there. When you put it on, it kind of tingles a little bit. Um, like it's not sore, it's not annoying, it's just like you can kind of feel something on your skin. Um, and then what I'll do is I'll have a bath and I use my Loving Tan, this is kind of wet because I just took it out of the shower. So I will use my Loving Tan Exfoliate Mitt, I use the black side. So there's like a pink side and a black side. The black side here is um, more of a harsh exfoliator. This one is a little bit softer, so I always just go with the black one just to get everything off. And I'll get in the bath and like soak in the bath for like 10 minutes or so. And then after, because that's just like, it will soften your skin. So it's going to make it a lot easier for your tan to come off. So. If you're ever like not sure how to take tan off, just like soak in the bath or like have a long shower so your skin softens and then it's so much easier for the tan to come off. And then I will use this and I will literally just go in and like exfoliate my whole skin and it comes off so much easier. So this is a self tan eraser, but just so you know, it's not like you just put it on and then your tan just comes off just like that. You still need to exfoliate your skin to get it all off, but it definitely, definitely makes it 10 times easier to take your tan off. And then just other little random things that I've been loving is my favourite perfume lately is the Yves Saint Laurent Black Opium. Is it called Black Opium? Yeah, Black Opium. Looks like this. Um, there is a lid to it too, but who knows where the lid is. With travelling and that, I always end up losing lids. Like, I love it. It smells amazing. So, yeah, this has been my go-to perfume lately. My two favourite skincare products is the Maracuja Oil from Tarte, which is my life. I've been using this for probably about a year now, and I love it. Um, I obviously put more on at night time than in the morning because I wear makeup. Unless I'm not wearing makeup that day, I'll put a lot on because it is like an oil. So, I'll put lots of this on at night and a little bit in the morning, but this is what it looks like. And it just comes basically in a little dropper, like so, and that's pretty much it. So I'll do like drop, 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 rub it in and just let it soak in. Oh, it's so good. It's my favourite. And a moisturiser I have been using for about two weeks now is the Tatcha The Water Cream. So it looks like this. It kind of goes on like... Just like your regular cream, but as you're rubbing it, it goes really watery and just kind of just melts into the skin. It's kind of weird, but I really like it. Um, as I said, my skin's dry, so... So yeah, definitely been loving this moisturiser. It hasn't broke me out. Usually when I wear, and um, when I try new skincare, I'll notice up around here, I'll break out and I'll get like little milia around my skin. 
So that's always how I know if it's a product that has broken me out. Um, I'm still kind of suffering from some breakouts here, just from being sick and not looking after myself. But I always know in skincare, it's like it happens around this area. So, so far, so good, it hasn't happened. So I think we're gonna be good with this product. So, fingers crossed, it still goes good. I'll keep you up to date with this anyway. So the last things I'm just gonna show you real quick, they have nothing to do with makeup, but something that I've been loving this summer um, are like oval shaped sunglasses. So these ones are like, these are my favorite. I love the color. So these are Ray-Ban. Um, it's hard to like show off the color of them. Sorry, I didn't really clean them too good either. They're like a, like a pinky rose gold. This is how they look on. I am obsessed. They go with everything. Like every outfit I wear, these go with them. Um, I just wish I could show the colour off. So you can sort of see the colour in this picture. Um, so it has that kind of pinky hue off it. It's hard to show it on camera, but um, yeah, I'm obsessed with them. And then also, for like a more affordable alternative, I got these in Forever 21 and I'm obsessed with these too. These are a little bit more oval, which I love. Um, and yeah, that's it. Oval gold frame. Um, but these go with everything too. And they're just, they're such a good like statement piece. I feel like sunglasses are always just that statement piece. Um, so you know if you're kind of like feeling a bit plain or whatever, you throw on a cool pair of shades and it just changes everything. When I actually went to get these Ray-Bans, I was gonna get them in the, like this color, just like the regular dark color. Um, but then these jumped out at me and I was like, shit, like now I need them. So I got, ended up getting the pinkish ones. Um, but then like a few days later I was in Forever 21 and saw these and there was like only one on the shelf It's like they were just sitting there being like, oh hey, we've been waiting for you um, But yeah, so these were like I want to say like 12 or 13 dollars like something like ridiculous like that So like you can't go wrong. So definitely check out Forever 21 for shades and that's it That's all of my fa I have like a lot of favorites and I have like a lot of stuff that I go through but the ones I've showed you today have been like Products I've used a lot of over the last... Go away. Products I've used a lot of over the last few months. And if these videos are something that you do like, I will start to do them more, as I said, every couple of months. For me, I just kind of... I'm not really into the monthly favourites because I will find a product that I love and literally use it for like four months straight. So monthly favourites are not going to work for me. So I think every... Every season. Let's do like season... Season must have season favorites. I think that'll be a good thing. But anyway, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you're not subscribed to my channel, then please make sure you hit subscribe. And thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in my next video.